I arrived in Nuneaton on a sunny May afternoon, the kind of day where the weather is perfect for a trip you're not quite sure why you're taking. Not too hot, not too cold, just utterly unobtrusive. I'd been to Nuneaton before, and I guess I thought maybe, just maybe, this time I'd uncover some hidden charm. Spoiler alert, I didn't. Nuneaton, where even the name feels like it's trying too hard. The town's etymology, which comes from Nuna's Tun, meaning Nuna's farm or settlement, promises something quaint, almost monastic. But here's the thing. Nuneaton is neither small nor charming. It's big, sprawling even, with all the facilities you could want, if what you want is a town that's still clinging to the rough edges of its rural Midlands past. It's flat. That's something you notice immediately, especially if you've just come from somewhere like Hinckley, which at least has the decency to offer a slope here and there. Nuneaton is laid out like it was planned by someone who's really into straight lines. The streets are clear-cut, wide and organized in a way that screams functional, but never inviting. Compared to Tamworth, though, it's at least more comfortable, more thoughtfully designed. Walking through it doesn't feel like a maze. It just feels like walking. Nonitun's history should give it more gravitas than it does. Once a medieval market town, it has roots stretching back to before the English Reformation. It was even a place of religious significance, home to a Benedictine nunnery, hence the name. But today, you'd never know it. Modern Nuneaton has a peculiar way of hiding its history behind roundabouts and shopping centers. If there's any whisper of its ancient past, it's drowned out by the hum of everyday suburban life. But of course, Nuneaton has one claim to fame that it will never let you forget. George Eliot. Yes, Mary Ann Evans herself hailed from this place, which probably explains why most of her novels are about people yearning for escape. I wandered past her statue in the town centre, looking rather regal and out of place. There's a pub named after her, of course, and a hotel too, because in Nuneaton, when you find something good, you milk it for all it's worth. Eliot spent her formative years here, drawing on its people and its landscape for inspiration in works like Middlemarch. It's just ironic that a woman known for her deep understanding of rural life should come from a town that now feels so utterly disconnected from its roots. At the turn of the century, Nuneaton was thriving thanks to the Industrial Revolution with coal mining, ribbon weaving and brick making industries all keeping the town busy. It was a hive of activity, transforming from a sleepy market town into a centre of industry. You can still see the remnants of that era in some of the older buildings, but the spirit of innovation, long gone I'm afraid. Now. It's just another Midlands town, trying to stay relevant in a world that's moved on.
So, why did I come here again? That's the question I asked myself as I sat on a bench with an ice cream in one hand and a coffee in the other. At least those made sense. Both were delicious and gave the town some fleeting purpose. While I pondered my questionable life choices, a local woman came over to tell me about a mural on a nearby building that had caught my eye. It was bright, lively, and apparently a celebration of Nuneaton's industrial past. She knew the boy who depicted the mural and his family, which at least made the whole thing feel a bit more personal. It was the most human moment I'd experienced all day. I decided to wander through Riversley Park next, a place that's actually quite beautiful and offers a small respite from the town's more functional vibes. The sun filtering through the trees, kids playing on the grass. It was peaceful, and for a moment, Nuneaton almost felt nice. I thought I'd pop into the Nuneaton Museum and Art Gallery, but naturally it was closed. Of course it was. By the time I left, I felt oddly satisfied. Not because Nuneaton had wowed me, but because it had, once again, confirmed that some places are just... places. Nuneaton is a town you visit when you want to see the Midlands in all its practical, unremarkable glory. It's not a boutique town like nearby Hinckley, or a picturesque escape like Stratford-upon-Avon. It's just Nuneaton, a town that exists, with its clear-cut streets, George Eliot tributes, and unapologetic blandness. And you know what? Sometimes that's enough. <laughs> 